Half-Life 2 is an absolute masterpiece and has been a complete meme since its release in 2004. Very few even dispute this fact, and while it remains a masterpiece still informing games today, its experience remains rooted in what was possible 15 years ago. The experience could certainly use a facelift. Like the Combine imposing its architecture and will upon humanity while leaving its remnants intact, modders have become much the same force of imposition. No longer do we have to deal with the Half-Life 2 experience with mundane and dated graphics, but behold. Half-Life 2 Remastered 2020 with Cinematic Mod as well as the trusty old M Mod. When it works. I'll do a quick spotlight before going over a tutorial on how to install this conversion. Just bask in it. This mod completely transforms the Half-Life 2 we know and love and puts some real oomph into the title and its graphical and experiential integrity. It also spins the entire series, so when pairing a playthrough with Black Mesa, the full impact of Half-Life is realized. I'd been playing through Half-Life nearly every other year, and every playthrough the experience was losing some of its touch, so these mods really inject some much needed TLC to bring the title closer to modern quality, and these mods really succeed in delivering the new Half-Life experience. Just look at the quality of this footage I took during a recent playthrough of the first game. It just looks stunning. There are certainly areas for improvement, like the character models or the over-reliance on Bloom, but it still overall adds to the experience of Half-Life 2. It teased me at first, as I thought I installed it incorrectly because the initial cutscene doesn't feature the stunning new overhauls. It isn't until Gordon fades back into consciousness that the environment snaps to the beautiful new look and just gaze, it looks amazing. Obviously, the environment is where the game first catches the player's eye, but where it really shines is what kind of immersion this adds to our beloved Half-Life. Before the graphical integrity was very much that of a game, and while it's still clearly a game, the believability and integrity of the mods add really make it a whole new experience. Even the Vortigons approve. The environments really are incredibly done. Whether you're trucking your way up to Nova Prospect or have just arrived in City 17, the city feels more alive than it ever has. Despite this, I see many voicing their disdain for the mod, often citing that Valve's initial art design was tarnished by it. But as far as I understood, the aesthetic for Half-Life 2 was not necessarily deliberate and more of a reflection of the state of the technology at the time. So that point is mostly moved. There is no doubt that the grayscale tone deafness of the original adds to the overall feel of the imposing combine, but I feel like this feeling is retained and truly enhanced by this mod. You'll see a lot of improvement with the guns as well. Every section involving gunplay is completely remade, it just feels like the impact of all the guns is kicked up to 11. Albeit, they had to go th with a less sci-fi look to the weapons, it still heavily suits the game and adds texture to the combat. The one problem is the recoil. It's so unforgiving and can make the game kind of easy because the recoil is also afflicted on your enemies. Even standing still, doing a quick spray with a assault rifle or SMG, it'll send your bullets arcing out like a shotgun. Speaking of shotgun, the gun feels better than ever and honestly it makes me wish it was in Doom 3. My favorite is definitely the new assault rifle, remodeled from the old pulse rifle. It still shoots pulse orbs, which can look a little strange, but if you just suspend your disbelief for a moment, it's okay. The explosions given off by the rocket or grenade are stunning. They even have some volumetrics as they can pour down corridors or through door frames. It just looks unbelievable for a Half-Life game. But enough of me yammering about how awesome this mod is. Why don't we just get into the tutorial and install this beast so you can experience it for yourself. You could read the read me, but it can be hard to understand, so let's get into it. First of all, download links are in the description and pinned comments, so download those, then go to the location where you installed them. I'll be installing them from my desktop or my downloads folder. The Half-Life 2 cinematic mod is a 17 gig torrent, so get ready for that too. Begin with running through the Half-Life 2 cinematic installer. First extract the contents of your Half-Life 2 cinematic zip file by extracting the .001 file. You will then have a file called CM2013. Making absolutely certain Steam is closed, 
run the .exe file in your CM2013 folder you torrented and run it through the wizard. Make sure you put the correct Steam apps slash common folder that houses the Half-Life 2 and its episodes. Next we'll do mmod. Again, extract the main mmod folder to your desktop or someplace that you know. Then this one is as simple as copying and pasting the source mods folder under the Steam apps directory you selected for the cinematic mod. And that's this one done. The final mod is the remaster, also easy. Take the RAR and do the good old extract. Then take the files in the custom folder and copy paste them into Steam apps, source mods, HLM mod underscore cinematic underscore HL2 folder. With all that done, you should be good to go and ready to enjoy this stunning masterpiece once again. Thanks y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Take care.